Welcome back. We are already having a good time, but you might be tired of the same old style and ready to update that do. So here with some fresh fall hairstyles that will give new life to your locks, we have celebrity stylist and also my hairstylist, Trey Gillen. All right, Trey, let's get into it and talk about how to freshen up that fall look. So yeah, this is like taking last year's trends and bringing them into this year's trends. And I've done a little um, Velcro roller set for Stephanie. This is going to be like your big Texas hair but in a new way so what I like we to do all is love big Texas we hair all, everybody then. loves it even if they say they don't you know it's it's all good but take just take a couple of rollers and do it from like your eyebrows up to the top okay I like to roll this down so you get some volume out to the side and then this goes all back so it gets off of your face okay? so at home he has three curlers in the center and then two on the side exactly. to give you an idea how yeah. many so and you let this sit for a little while oh yeah like do this before you get ready for work or the night out and then take it out last now do you do a little hairspray while you have the curlers in I put um, I put some hairspray I put a volume powder at the end just to really set it and velcro rollers also work better when they're when the hair is warm so if your hair is cold and you put velcro rollers in take the blow dryer on warm and put it in and heat it up a little bit before you get going and that'll help set the um, the curls so I've got these out and now we've got to do our favorite thing in the world which is back combing so there's two types of back combing. There's yeah. By the way, he taught me a new one yesterday that I want you to show the French lace. You've got yes. to show that because you know sometimes you can get the little pieces of hair that stick out. That's my problem, and you had a trick for it. So, so yes. is this is this regular back, back combing? Back combing is just packing it down so you can get that volume at the root. And French lacing. Let's say you have like that little hair that won't go to the, the right crazy side. Crazy hair. We all you have it. You can go <laughs> over like that. And French lacing is going down the hair to create movement in the hair. And if you do a great French lace, you can make it stand straight up on its own like that okay so we don't want that on top you've got to use that in your curls like, down here what's the alfalfa hair french lacing is also great if you want to do like make your curls look longer you can french lace them down and then oops so back coming is at the roots french lace is it's from towards the, the ends so that you get your curls long and full so this is going to be our kind of texas hair in a new easier modern oh, way it. That's not so big and bold. It's a little bit more subdued. And that's with a round curling iron, not so much a, um, a stick. Yeah, nice okay. big hair, but still nice and relaxed and touchable. Yeah, tons of hairspray at the end, a lot of shine spray, because blondes don't always shine. So you want to add a shine spray on a blonde. So let's keep moving on to our beachy waves. So yeah, this is last year's trends, beach waves, but we're going into the fall. So we're going to call it loose, sexy waves, OK? OK. So, a lot of texture in the hair, and you're gonna take a curl stick. So a curl stick that has um, thicker on the bottom at the base and skinnier at the top. And the way I like to do my, um, my loose waves is I like to curl one, one direction, say away from the face, and you don't curl all the way up the top. You're kind of taking the hair halfway down. Yes, and you see how I'm holding the ends in my hair? That keeps it very um, modern. So you don't want to have that perfect curl all the way down. And keeps you my, from singeing the ends, too, I'm sure. Exactly, protecting it from the heat, exactly. The next one, I would go opposite. So I would curl it towards, if you're looking in a mirror, go away from the mirror, towards the mirror, or away from you, the face, towards the face. That way, they don't kind of turn into those big sausage rolls that you get when you used to do the Victoria's okay. Secret rolls. So what's the trick on doing this one on the back of your hair when you're at home? by yourself. <laughs> well, I would say just do this top part here, like everything from, from the crown, so because you won't see it. the underside. The best thing you can do though to loosen this up is just take your fingers and back comb or French lace with your fingers. So French lacing is going, I gotta yeah, give this a try. I love it. And you just kind of pinch, it's this action right here. Oh, look at that. You're gonna go like that. And you see how much fullness Angie gets with the hair. So after that, you just kind of push it back in on the sides and let all the volume be towards the bottom. That's wow, your modern so loose wave for the fall, taking that beach wave from last summer into the fall. Give it a little oomph. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Angie. You're awesome. Yeah. Okay, so moving now, on to our third look. This, we're going to take the top knot. So the top knot before the last three or four years has been, everything's been up in the top knot, right? And a lot of people don't want to wear that. It feels severe. It feels really tight right here, like you have an instant facelift. The new top knot is like, like half up, half down. So you're just gonna take the crown and put that into your top So before top you get started into this though, is it a hair texture? Can you do this if you have stick straight hair or do you need to let your hair air dry? That is an awesome, um, question because this is the beach wave going into the top knot. So it's better to have a little texture. It keeps it more lived in lifestyle. Or your rougher. bedhead. Yeah, bedhead <laughs> is perfect for a top knot. This is why we invented the top knot. So you can just put your hair up and not have to do it in the morning. 
So I'm gonna make a little triangle or like a kite shape with a, with a, t with a comb with a point at the end of it. And I'm just taking a diamond shape or a right kite shape. Right at the shape. crown of the head. Yeah, and you're gonna leave all your bangs out. So the great thing about this is if you're used to seeing hair on your face, this hairstyle won't change that. Where the old top knot, you kind of pulled everything up and you felt like, well, it doesn't look like me anymore, right? So with this. So you're kind of making the ponytail to start, you know, like the pebbles look. Think of, oh, for <laughs> sure, yeah, it's the pebbles look for sure, bam, bam. And it's really easy. I mean, people can do this in five minutes, but what I wanted to talk about is you want to add a lot, as you see, the top has layers. So to get that nice full um, knot, you want to add a lot of volume and texture. So by back you're doing French <laughs> lacing. <laughs> I was like, you're doing uh, the French lacing. It's the theme I'm today. <laughs> I'm we have a theme, French lacing, everyone. So you do that, or you could braid it. You can even French lace into a braid. You ever saw those really loose braids? That's how they get that. But I also noticed where you did the, the hair tie. You didn't do it super, super tight there. You left it a little loose. Well, it's very lifestyle and easy for anybody to use. So I just wanted to show that anybody could do this. It's not complicated. So look, I've just wrapped it in and pinched it in my hand. And now I'm just going to take bobby pins. Three, four bobby pins should be enough. Now, do you still want to keep it a little messy when you get it into the, into the bun? That's up to your personal style. But yeah, and I have, a, I have a trick for bobby pins versus hair pins. If it's more than one finger pinching with your thumb, like say I'm grabbing like this, you need a bobby pin. If you're just using one finger, one pin, you can use, I mean one finger, one thumb, you can use a hair pin to secure it. So now I've already done one bobby pin in here. So now I'm going in with hair pins because it's already pretty secure. And the cool it's thing about so this, cool so easy, and it can be so messy as well, but you can either do it slightly back to where it feels a little bit more natural if you don't want to be so avant-garde, and if you want to go there and be edgier like Chris Lynn could be, you go can up, put it right, right on, on top. top. And then what do you do with the rest of it? The just rest you're just going to style however as normal, you want. because the great thing about this top knot is that it leaves all your hair the way you're used to seeing it on a daily basis. It just gives you that little extra something at the top. And leaving little pieces out here and there makes it look like you didn't try so hard, yeah. which is effortless hair, which is what we're trying to get in the fall, right? Oh, Trey, thanks for coming in. Yeah, Loving it so, it so much. much. Now, here's a great deal for you. Trey is offering a $10 discount on his color services. If you book with him and mention Houston Life, you can book your next color with Trey by visiting Vita Matari Salon com and coming up next a growing trend among men we're talking taking a look at man maintenance when we return